Welcome to this workflow tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to set up multi-channel inputs in various DAWs with SpinTracer V1 2. Let's start with Reaper. First, open SpinTracer on an audio channel and set the orb count to 16. Then, open the input channel menu, where a quick shortcut allows you to assign separate input channels across all 16 orbs. Now, create 16 audio channels to route individual audio sources to each orb. You can label these channels as Orb 1 through Orb 16. For each channel, go to Send, select the track where Spin Tracer sits, and assign channels sequentially from channel 1 to 16. Make sure Master Send Channels is unchecked. If you open the routing pop-up of the channel where the Spin Tracer plugin sits, you should see all 16 sends assigned as receives. Let's check the settings by dropping some sounds into the session. I have prepared 16 different sounds, and you'll hear how each one spatializes through Spin Tracer's motion engine. Moving on to Pro Tools, start by creating a third order ambisonic track, which supports 16 channels directly. Insert Spin Tracer on this track, and it will act like a down mixer from 16 tracks to stereo. Open the Input Channel menu, where a quick shortcut allows you to assign separate input channels across all 16 orbs. Then, create a third order ambisonic bus. I've named the subpaths of this bus, Orb 1 through 16. And route each of your individual tracks through this bus. Now route each of your tracks via the subpaths to the 16 individual inputs of Spin Tracer. By pressing alternate plus command, the subpaths will be assigned in consecutive order automatically. Let's listen to a mix of 16 different mono underwater recordings, just mixed down without Spin Tracer. Notice how these sounds transform when spatialized with Spin Tracer's motion engine. creating a dynamic, immersive underwater effect. In Ableton, insert Spin Tracer on an audio track. Then, open the Input Channel menu, where a quick shortcut allows you to assign separate input channels across all 16 orbs. Make sure each channel is routed correctly to allow for individual audio sources to flow into Spin Tracer's spatial engine. Route each channel to Spin Tracer, and below, select the consecutive input tracks. For final routing, use hard left and right panning to separate each input. I've selected a few sounds to showcase the impact of individual channel routing when spatialized through Spin Tracer's powerful motion engine. And lastly, we'll go through the same setup in Cubase. In the input section menu, I'll quickly assign the 16 individual inputs to the 16 orb objects. Spin Tracer needs to be placed on a group track. Here, enable the sidechain function, and for each sidechain stereo input, assign two of the 16 mono tracks I've prepared. Keep in mind, sidechains in Cubase start with channels 3 and 4. So for channels 1 and 2, I'll route them directly from the first two source audio tracks. Now, let's add 16 sounds and listen to how they spatialize through the Spin Tracer engine. I hope this tutorial helped you set up the 16 individual inputs in Spin Tracer. Enjoy experimenting and have fun with the new features in Spin Tracer. 